Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? She agreed to marry you for the sake of Asgard, but she is not warmed by the idea. In fact, you revolt her utterly. If she hopes to dissuade me from this union, she'll be quite disappointed. I am committed to seeing this through. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? She was shocked into a waking sleep at the news of her betrothal. She prefers this dreamlike state to the ugly reality. It will be a rude awakening if she does not come around willingly. I will not use her gently. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need you to... You have next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You implied you had a plan. I hope with all my heart this wasn't it. You are no one's prize just yet. If this scheme turns sour, I will fight for you, till my sinews snap and my bones break. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Most he never. Footprints. Large footprints. We have found the worm's lair. 
Are those the builder's pets? Shapeshifters. More deception. The builder will suffer for this. Where there are cards, there are boots. There's a door for the reason. Help me smash it. Hold, Loki. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, high one. Oh dear. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. A quiet crossing might be best. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. Our hobby returns. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. You survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsack. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hugur makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had it son. Their lives were the price of their arrogance. Exposed. You shape the nine worlds, but you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them. Your time has passed. There's no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it!
Anton dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've fed it more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here.
emotions. But any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. The witch's house. There you are. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angraboda, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Our parting was bitter. He has made many enemies among the gods. My Loki, he's an acquired taste. One that can soon turn sour. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotna magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The mead. You seek the mead. Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. You were discussing the humans in Midgard. Were we? Why would Jotnar concern ourselves with such lower beings? Because you think them hardy and ambitious. You know much, Farseer. But not enough to save you. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. Hag's claw. There should be more around. 
my stomach. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world.
While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I... I feel... strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now. You have said you want the mead. But how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue? Your hand? Your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Havi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> Let me help you down from there. No! No! no. Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Udgardr. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, 
Join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Steel and flesh met here, but Yodna leave no corpses. The ditch was dark so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This card bears the sign of Agate. Zagir's cauldron they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. Construction leads towards that giant root. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. This place is heavily guarded. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave?
reach it. as they seem in your Tonaima. The cold has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go... Let's see you, old friend. Thrimmer's house once stood here. Before ruin came upon it. stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. To my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. 
Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I. No sense trying to change fate. What comes? another life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. 
You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungar. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of mead? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, dreaded hunter of your kind. One hundred Yatna have I slain. No! 
you tread on dangerous ground, Aesir. Great Yotna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! What can I do to get them to drink faster? Receive musicians. Where's the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans came to bondage, bread to serve. Such is the fate of the lonely. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Abby! Show us your mind! Beat that champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who will challenge a champion? Who among you is brave enough? My lambs hit harder than you. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I've had enough. Oh. Very well. The mead is half gone. The Nagir's cauldron can't be drained. Come, give it a try! What's the... Come, give it... Agir, mighty friend to the Asiad. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Humir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. 
and I'll drink to anything. Come, give it's it really sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns. I should... Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off the walls. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. What's the second worst? Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer camp, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my... You return! Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this Not second? So easy worst. after something at the brook of the cheer. Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You great- That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> but they won't do it! to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can... Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. So easy after the the ancient keep of the Yotna. Sutungar's old sway within those walls. Surely he would not dare. The kitchen. Here I might find some way to make the guests thirsty. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? No guests in the kitchen! Out! These guests will drink more with fire in their mouths. in the leg. What's the second? Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? The need to empty that cauldron, and so to go will open his vault.
you return? Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! I'll give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? can happen. What's the second worst? Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutumka. Great Sutungar, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible, Gunnola. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Finally, the bolt is 
I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it, and we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornia spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. Strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Hurricane has promised answers at the well of Mimir. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Sutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. What have you done with my daughter? Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidekin said to find her at Mimi as well. Venomous 
trickster another day. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favor, Strixer, and you are welcome to try. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! Finished. Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. Gone. So who knows what mischief. I will not see him again soon. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Why is Mimir 
Keeper of the Well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's Well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungur and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the nine worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard to save my people. Cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? 
the beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I, uh... I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. Are you near? Harvey, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash, 
whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. I smell something sour. Wear the color, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. Then comes 
the second great sorrow, when the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. How do you know these things? This is the tale I tell myself. Each night in the cold and dark, the wolf dream of tasting the flesh of the Harvey. Strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end.
this was not my day to die. Thank <laughs> you.